Hi, please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best analysis on politics, crime, security, and historical facts. Let us go straight to Nigeria to look at one worrying situation in that country. That is boat accidents. Boat accidents are becoming very rampant in Nigeria, and both the government and citizens need to act and act very fast. According to the ICIR data, which is available to us, 17 people die monthly in Nigeria as a result of boat accidents. This is very scary because most people don't need much to survive these accidents. Some like life jackets should be able to save a lot of people from these accidents. But it seems most often than not, a lot of people travel by boat in Nigeria without life jackets. And most of the boats also carry more than the capacity of the boats. And all these things can be prevented if the government is serious about it and is ready to fight this menace. Over the past six years, Nigeria has witnessed a troubling trend in boat accidents, with 1,204 lives lost between January 2018 and October 2023. Let us look at the calculation. When 1,204 is divided by the 70 months within the period of January 2018 and October 2023, the result will be 17, which means that when this trend continues, a great number of people will be killed, even more than those killed by terrorists in Nigeria. We all know the amount of money the government of Nigeria is spending on terrorism, and other countries also are supporting Nigeria when it comes to the fight against terrorists in their country. If a little of that money can be channeled towards fighting boat accidents in Nigeria, I think a lot of lives will be saved as a result of that. Life jacket doesn't cost much. The government can supply that to the boat's owners, and that will save a lot of life. And this affected 25 of the Nigeria's 36 states, plus the Federal Capital Territory. Fatalities include women and children. And this is obvious because most men in general can swim and are able to survive in times like that. And most of the stretches or the routes in which these things are happening, men don't normally ply those routes because it's either they are coming from market or going on excursion or traveling from one point to the other. And this mostly affects uh, that's women and children. The latest of this is the one that happened last Saturday, that is October 28th, 2023, just last Saturday, that an specified number of persons are still missing after a boat carrying over 100 passengers capsized in Taraba State, Nigeria. This is very sad. And these are people returning from market because this is a very deprived area and people survive on market. That is, they travel across the river to the market. So they were just returning from the market and this incident happened. And I can predict that a lot of the victims will be children and women because most of them are not is our mothers that go to the market. It was gathered that none of the passengers wore life jackets. Yes, this is always the situation. A lot of people that travel by the boat, they don't wear life jackets. The source disclosed that the ill-fated boat was returning from a fish market in the community before the incident took place, 15 minutes after it took off or it took off. Chances for survivors are still slim because hours and days have passed already and only some few bodies have been recovered or discovered from this incident. Sadly, Nigeria continues to face this issue because the government is not acting and the citizens themselves are also not conscious about their safety when they are traveling by boat. By the meantime, please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best analysis on politics crime, security, and historical facts. Kindly like and comment. Thank you so much.